Hi, my name is Ritesh, I'm the founder of Tab, and today I'm going to show you the sample apps that we've created and that you've already seen in our promo video in action. So today I'll be demoing the apps on a BlackBerry Bold 9900, the BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha, a Galaxy Nexus, and finally for the kiosk, the Google Nexus 7. So let's get started. So here we've loaded up Tabs Cafe, one of the sample apps that are available on our website and that we've seen in the promo video on three devices, the BlackBerry Bold 9900, the BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha, and the Galaxy Nexus, and also for the kiosk on the Google Nexus 7. So quickly we can see that uh, we're able to select sizes just by selecting them at the top. We can quickly say, I want cream and sugar in my milk. I'm going to say that I want two of each. I have my total and I'm going to hit place order. And on the next screen, it will show me my mint chip ID and my account balance, which is a local mint chip that is uh, inserted into the SD card slot on this phone. And it shows my order summary at the bottom. It asks me to tap the kiosk, so I'm going to tap the back of this Nexus 7 because that's where the NFC antenna is. We hear that it makes a noise saying that it's connected. And that's a confirmation noise. And if we watch the next seven, we see at the bottom, sending complete. And it sent the order transaction to the tab server, so we could, which we can see as a merchant to see which orders need to be fulfilled. And we'll see that a little bit later. And also to demonstrate this on the BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha, here I'm going to do milk and sugar. I'm going to do three of each. I'm going to do an extra large. I'm going to hit place order. And again, the same thing in this case, because there's no SD card slot, uh, we're using a hosted mint chip and it shows me my mint chip ID and balance at the top and asks me to tap the kiosk. So I'm going to do the same in this case. Hear the confirmation, the starting noise. And we hear the confirmation. And again, it says sending complete at the bottom. Finally, we're going to do the same with a uh, Galaxy Nexus. So in this case I'm going to do milk and sweetener. I'm going to do five of each. I'm going to make it a medium. In this case, I'm going to do things a little differently just because uh, this is how Android does it. So in this case, and this way you get to see what actually you would see when you tap the phone. So again on the back here we're going to tap this uh, this phone when to line up the NFC antennas. Again, in this case, we're using a hosted mint chip because there's no SD card slot on this device. And again, it's asking me to tap the kiosk. So I'm going to tap it. And it's saying placing order. And this time it's asking me to touch the beam, so I touch the screen and we have the confirmation. And then we see order placed. And that's it. That's exactly how it would work in reality. Uh, with some uh, limitations due to the fact the placement of the NFC antenna on this particular tablet, but in essence, that's how the sample apps work, and that's pretty much all that they do. What you did see in the promo video is the ability to invite a friend. Now, this is non-functional in sample apps, just because we haven't been able to adequately test this using uh, BlackBerry Messenger to integrate the, uh, the apps with each other, but this is just a mock-up of how, what it would look like on the devices. So let's move on to our next app so we can see how that might work. So here we've loaded up the Tab Lounge sample app onto our BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha. And we've also loaded up the kiosk onto the Nexus 7. We've gotten rid of our BlackBerry Bold 9900 and our Galaxy Nexus because we don't have the sample apps for those quite ready yet. So here you've seen what we've uh, shown already in our promo video, just being able to flip through a bunch of drinks and add them to your order. So in this case, I'm going to Add a vodka martini, gin and tonic, and Cuba Libre. I'm going to hit place order, and we can see a list of all the drinks along with our mint chip ID and our balance at the top and the total at the bottom. Now, in this case, I'm going to flip the Nexus 7 around just so we can see what the user would see when they tap the kiosk. So, I'm going to move this over a little bit, and we can see that if I go ahead and tap the kiosk, you can see it says placing order, and then order placed, get the confirmation noise, and that's it. And again, this will be sent to the tab servers, and this is exactly how uh, 
an app developer would integrate tabs, APIs, and services into their app so they can uh, receive mobile, mobile payments and transactions using tab and mint chip and NFC. So next we'll show uh, tab cinemas, uh, the other, the third sample app working on the BlackBerry 10 as well. So here we've loaded up our last sample app, Tab Cinemas, onto our BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha and the kiosk portion on the Nexus 7. And just like we showed in the promo video, we can go ahead and flip through the different video movies that we want to see at Tab Cinemas. In this case, we're going to go with Gone with the Wind. I'm going to pick the 9.30 p.m. show, and I'm going to buy four tickets. I'm going to hit Buy Tickets. And again, it asks me to tap the kiosk, and it shows a summary that I'm looking for. That I've purchased four tickets for Gone with the Wind at on for Monday, uh, August 6, 2012, at 9:30 p.m. And it shows me my total at the bottom of $29. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and tap the the kiosk. I hear the confirmation noise in this case. And we see sending complete at the bottom right there. And that's it. Those are the three sample apps running on the, uh, I guess, three different platforms. And you can download these from the website and try them out for yourself. And the last part of the video that we're going to show is where these transactions actually go. Well, they actually go onto the tab servers where the merchant can review the transactions and see the different, uh, the different reports that they can actually go through to see how their business is operating. So let's go through that next. So now that we've seen our sample apps in action that use the tab APIs and services, let's take a look at what the merchant sees when they receive these orders from their app. So here we've, uh, we're on the tab website and we can go through and find our control panel, which takes us to a portal that the merchant would look at when they are looking at what the current state is of their business. And we can see that in our case, we have three businesses we're operating, our cafe, lounge, and cinema. And we can see the daily stats for the sales that we're uh, seeing. And we can also see a chart for the weekly sales that we've been seeing. Now if we go through our reports, we can see that we have seven pending sales, one completed sale, and we also have our mint chip balance and our mint chip ID at the top. And we also have our total sales that we've recorded for the day. Now, pending sales just indicate the ones that we still have to take action on, which in the case of Tabs Cafe and Tab Lounge, we need to actually fulfill the drink orders. So here we can see our uh, order that we replaced on the Blackberry Bold. We see that we, when we ordered a large with two cream, two sugar, that was actually sent to here. On the BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha, we ordered an extra large with three milk, three sugar. And on the Android Galaxy Nexus, we ordered a medium with five milk and five sweetener. And all three orders are shown here. And as a merchant, I can actually uh, fulfill the order and say, yep, the order is complete. And we can see that the order is marked completed. For the BlackBerry 10 Alpha, De 10 Dev Alpha, when we showed the Tab Lounge app, we ordered three drinks, our Varco Martini, Gin and Tonic, and Cuba Libre. And we see that here along with the midship ID. And again, we can mark that order as being completed. And finally, in the Tab Cinema app, we ordered four tickets for Gone with the Wind at tonight's 9.30 p.m. show, and that's shown up here as well. And that's pretty much it. This is how Tab can be integrated into uh, a merchant's app, and they can actually use this to streamline their business and fulfill orders uh, in a different way than what they are uh, currently using, but still uh, very much similar to what we what they're used to. In the end, this the hope is that we using NFC and Mintchip, uh, consumers and merchants alike can save time and just get on with their day and worry about things that are more important in life. The one thing to note uh, about these apps is that you can download all of them on our website, which uh, if you go to tab.com.co, sorry, uh, it'll take you to our website and we can actually go through and download the sample apps at the bottom of the page. And you'll note that the there is one for the BlackBerry Bold 9900 that requires a local mint chip SD card whereas the others uh, do not require that and are actually hosted solutions. And 
all include and those all include their own uh, mintchip certificate already in the app so you don't have to have your own so if you're not already in the mintchip challenge you can still take a look at these apps and see how they would work so i hope you've enjoyed this video just demonstrating what the sample apps uh, do and how they work so you can go ahead and try them out and we hope to hear your feedback on uh, on what you've seen today thank you for your time and i hope you enjoy the sample apps and what tab is able to offer you thanks